can we find treasure in this river right behind me? Hi everyone, today we're on a river that we have visited before but when we did we were right near the sea because this is the river Ogmo and today we're in the town of Bridgend. Back in the 12th century there were twin towns here. One was Old Castle, the other New Castle. Then in 1435 somebody built a bridge and the rest, as they say, is history. So let's see if we can find a bit of that history now and take a look in the river. There's a river. There's a path and a walkway down there to a beach. Let's go have a look. There's the bridge. It's a very nice bridge, very friendly. Hello. Hello. So let's cross the bridge and see if we can get down the other side. Look at this, nice shallow steps. Quite a treat. And this is perfect proof that a large, exciting looking beach doesn't necessarily have anything on it because there's nothing on the one we're looking at at the moment. Still, there are more beaches further down, so let's go check those out. Circles of stones are found all around the world and of course we have in the United Kingdom one of probably the most famous collection of stones down a stone edge. That predates our modern concept of history. But here I'm stood in the centre of a circle of stones. Caroline is filming me and she stood upon the Logan stone. But this set of stones is very much a modern phenomena because these stones are here as a result of the National Eisteddfod in Wales being held at Bridgend in 1947. The tradition is that one year and one day before the commencement of a National Eisteddfod that the arch druid will stand on the Logan stone and gathered around him will be the druids and the leaders of the druids of Britain while he declares that the Eisteddfod is to be held in this place. And that's what would have happened here all those years ago. The Eisteddfod tradition is often traced back to Lord Rees as he held the Bardic competitions annually at Cardigan Castle. And then the idea was revived again some years later when the Gwynethigion Society based in London, decided that they were going to support and encourage the small festivals being held in taverns and public houses throughout North Wales. But the modern day Eisteddfod, the national Eisteddfod of Wales, traces itself now back to 1861. And the very word Eisteddfod, it, it means literally sit in. And it's believed that that's probably linked to the presentation that is made to the best poet that is crowned 
as the bard for Wales. And the gift that they are given is a hand-carved chair that is created for the ceremony and then presented to them to keep. With so many stones to choose from across Wales, this seems a very fitting place to have told the story of Eisteddfod standing here under the goalposts at a rugby pitch. And of course, it is a varied history, but over the years, the Eisteddfods has produced some incredible poetry and music, and it goes to the very heart of Welsh culture and what the nation is all about. So it's been a joy to share a little of it with you right now. But all things have to come to an end and we'd better end the history and get back to looking for treasure. We found this really lovely little island and look at that water. It gets very deep over there. <laughs> but I think we should get in the water to have a look. So come on, pop your wellies on, we're going in. little a little bit of stoneware oh there's a little handle on that as well oh no that was quite interesting for our first find i think i can see more over there looks like the bottom of a jar or something let's have a look oh look what it is it's the bottom of a piece of ridge pottery what is a mudlark without ridge pottery no oh, what's this oh, the top of a jar as you can hear, Phil's got chatted again. Let's have a look what else we can find. It's looking a bit more promising now we come on down river a little bit. Piece of china there with a little bit of blue on, but when I turn it over, oh, there's a lot of blue on that side. Let's have a look at this. Oh, now that's off a flagon, and there's the handle bit on the bottom of the handle. Oh well, I'm quite enjoying this. Let's keep an eye out for other things like gold doubloons and pipe stems as well. Don't forget, shout if you see something. It's a dog. It's a wet dog. It's my new friend. Hello, new friend. I've seen this shirt and I thought we'd play a game of twig or pipe stem. But it could even be the edge of a cup. Let's have a look. Oh look. Look at that! It's our first piece of pipe stem of the day! Oh, I'm really excited now. I'm happy because I found some pipe stem and I'm excited because we're obviously somewhere that there are interesting things to find. Oh, I'll pop that in my pile. And then go have a look, see if we can find anything else. Oh, there's another piece of plain pottery there. Oh, is that a gold doubloon? Can you see there? It's gold. Do you think it's a doubloon? No, it's a piece of sequin. Oh. Ah, well, we'll keep looking. And look, there's one of those naughty stones. I think it is anyway. Yep, that really looked like a coin. And it's not. So two coin disappointments in no time at all. What have you got, Mr. Johnson? Well, I can't quite match you, I have mm. to admit it. But just like yourself, I have found this little corner on the beach far more productive than our first attempts. Because if you see, I've Ooh, got lots of Look at all those lots. goodies. Lots of stoneware. Yeah. A nice, oh, look at that. green. That's lovely. Very and, nice. And that river glass. Golly, that's been there a while. Yes, it has. Not much river glass here. That's quite a find. Yeah. Uh, oh, we've got some nice bits and pieces there. I also picked up oh, quarry that's tile, quarry that? tile. Hmm. That looks exactly the same, but I'm not sure hmm. if that is man-made or not. There are no inclusions in it, and it just weighs differently, so I yeah, would say that's a that's stone. That's probably a stone. I think so. That looks extremely like a quarry tile, but yep. that is definitely a quarry tile. It is. It's come out of somebody's house. But... I've got a little idea for some of these little bits I'm finding. Right. So, if I just take everyone over to the shed and have a look what I'm thinking of. Okie dokie. Here we are, back in the shed. And I want to show you my idea for some of these beautiful pieces that have come out of the River Ogmore down there at Bridge End. 
because finding lots and lots of very smooth pieces, little bits and pieces that have been in that water for a considerable amount of time. Now, my idea is to create something based on the history that we've seen today and the tradition of the stone rings that you find throughout Wales and, of course, standing stones that you find all over the world. And what I want to do is to combine these pieces, or at least some of them, with this piece. Now, some of you will recognise this piece from the video we have done very recently up there at Llynon Reservoir, which at the moment, due to the drought here in Wales, the water levels have receded and some of the structures are beginning to become visible. And in fact, we were able to walk under a bridge that is normally under millions of gallons of water. And beneath that bridge, I found this piece of china, which would have had a pattern around its edge. But to me, it quite suggests the concept of the way in which Celtic knots are tied now that it's broken and worn. So I'm thinking to use this because it's a very special piece of stone that I found in a very, very special place. And as a continuation of that tribute to the hamlet that was lost there when the flooding of the dam took place, to use this as the centre stone. But also, I'm going to need a base. And for the base, I'm going to use this. I said in the previous video that this would make a good plinth. Well, I think it will. And I think if I can put this centre of that and then arrange the stones around, and then I've got a little idea for what to do with the front as well. So let's get on with it. Let's put it all together and see what you think when we've got the finished object. It's starting to come together. I'm pleased with what I've got, but I've just got one little piece of embellishment that I feel will just enhance what this is all about. Now, what I've been doing is experimenting with some words and letters on the printer. Um, I tried using Land of Words and Music and put that into Welsh. But then I looked at another possibility down the bottom there with the black background and the red lettering with the words of Mein Hin Hardwood and I, because the Welsh National Anthem is what I think would suit well to you. So I'm just going to take a few of the words from the first lines of the Welsh National Anthem and add them to the front of this plinth and see how that looks. Let's have a go.
Well, there you have it. Job done. I'm happy. All I need to do now is give you a good look at what I've created before we head back over and continue with our search. So let's pop this outside and take a look. To found a log. I got you a log, dear. Is it heavy? Yes. I thought it might be. It's, it's very wet. in the water. Hmm. But a you log. Here we go. Up. Oh, that's very heavy. No, I think we should leave that there. Are you sure? We, yes, we'll find a drier one before Christmas comes. Oh, I thought you could put a little robin on the top. Little robin? <laughs> I put an ostrich on the top of that. It looked nice in the middle of your dinner table. <laughs> yes. Okay, here we go again. Me all rustic and rough and you being dainty. Here's an interesting log. Got lots of bracket fungus growing on the ends. So if you could see that, it might have been a bit dark. But you can't really tell how big this log is. Somebody's been chopping away at it. And then what do you know? Hello. There's a medlarker sat right on the end to give you some perspective. I'm Sunday then. What have you found, Mr. Johnson? I got bigger bits. Bigger bits? Ooh, that's what I, ooh. Sorry about the dog behind. He's very excited in the water. Oh, the bottom of a cup. Bottom of a stoneware jar. Definitely the bottom of a stoneware jar. Virtually the whole thing. Some rich pottery. Hey, second piece of rich pottery today. Another chunk. Stoneware. Stoneware. And, and then, then a handful of little tiny bits and pieces. Indeed. And one little scoundrel. I was sure that was the heel of a pipe bowl. Mm, it does look like. No hole. It's a handle. Oh gosh, we're a puddler now. Hello, Mr. Johnson. What have you got? I am having a sit on a log. I've got three interesting bits. Oh, let's hold up. Because it's all bits today, but that I love the colour. Yep. Probably 1950s. It's definitely been in the water a while. Could have been. But that vibrant yellow. It just reminds me of Weetabix yellow for some reason. Hmm, I can see. Uh, I see where you're coming from. That one's two tone. Oh, yes. Which I thought was nice. Very nice. Off a flagon. And that's got a hole in. Oh, I can see you. Ooh. And I thought, seeing as it is generally bits and pieces, mm -hmm. well-worn bits and pieces, perfect for a game of plain or patterned without having to be ground down. So, Mankey has set up a game of plain or patterned. Oh, this looks interesting. Mm, mm. No. Remember, right. a plain colour is a plain piece. Right, okay then. Right, we're going to go for patterned. Oh no! Yes, it's, it is. Oh, this pattern be the it ridge is. count? It is. It's ridged pottery. That's a pattern. There we go, one for me. There we go. See how honest I am. You are. Plain. Yep, that's plain because that's just some chips. We're not doing too well, Maggie. Oh, look, we've got a visitor. That's flashing. Has somebody come to see us? Yes. The dogs love this river. Right, let's get back to choosing. Patterned. Oh, it's plain. One for Phil and Monkey. There we go, buddy. You got one. Ooh, patterned. Oh, yes, that's it patterned. Is indeed. So we're playing just for the glory now. We can't win. Um, oh, what should I go for? Patterned. Oh, yes, it is. Look. Oh, that's a nice blue. I like that one. Yes, I won. And an impressive win it was too. Oh, thank you very much. Not at all. Honesty is the best policy. But as I say, it's been wonderful to find these worn bits of history. 
but I know folks out there often like to see if we can find something whole. Well, I don't think finding something whole is going to happen at this point in the river. I think these things washed out further up. We are alongside playing fields, but they've been well barricaded by the defences. So, on the way home now, what if we just pop in the dump and see if we can find something a bit bigger than the beautiful treasures we've picked up here. So here we are, we're near to home now. It's a bit of a trek up from Bridge End, but we've stopped off at the dump, as we said, just to see if we can pick up a few whole items. I know how much some of you out there love your whole items and love to see the things from the past. And of course, as you can see behind me, the dump is a very different place to be in on a river. It is always giving and it's still giving because look what I've already picked Ooh, up. What's that? It's a large sauce bottle. Flag sauce. Well, that is. Can you imagine who would mm. buy that size sauce? I wonder if it's a catering pack because it's well, very big. Today we get big bottles of sauce, but that wasn't the norm no. back in the 50s and 60s. Everything was smaller. So I was surprised by that. I like the fact it had a different name on it to those we usually find. So that's a start. It may be a screw top, but it's interesting and it's big yep. and whole. Mm. <laughs> You've got weeds everywhere. And then down here is a little snapdragon or antirinium or antirhinum, I can never remember. Isn't that lovely? The birds must have seeded that here. And it's standing out amongst all these yellow and yellowy green looking weeds. While we're here, let's have a look down and see what we can see. Oh, look, YMCA. Now, there is a YMCA building not very far from here. So I wonder if that came from the kitchens there, the Young Men's Christian Association. Mm, could be. Definitely worth a rummage. Don't forget, shout if you see something. A bit of a light bulb. Oh, there's the other bit of it. I do love finding glass light bulbs. I don't know why, but I do. Oh, and that's a nice jar. I'm always keeping an eye out for nice jars. They're great for my craft. Oh, and another one. Pop my pile there. Ooh, very dusty today. Oh, lovely. If I can get one more, I've got a set of three. walk up the hill. You can see there is lots of glass and broken bits of china and things. It's looking for the treasures in amongst all this rubbish. Oh look! Look, look, look! It's a bottle stopper. Don't think there's anything written on it but it's a bottle stopper. Always a nice find. Oh look here, just lying on the path. You've got the neck of a blue poison bottle. That neck is in quite good condition. It's not chipped on the top. It's just the neck. I think that would make a nice chimney. Whoops. Dropping it. I think that would make a nice chimney. On a little model house. Oh, I'm going to keep that, even though there's not a lot left. Is there any bottle on the bottom of this bottom? No, no. Look at that. What have you got, Mr. Johnson? You look happy. Oh, I tell you. Um, from sublime to ridiculous, I suppose, because oh. I have five things in one hand <laughs> right. and one thing in the other. Oh, it's a milk bottle. I do like my milk bottles. Crown dairies, is it? I think Or it Corona possibly. dairies. Can never remember which one it is. Corona. There we go. So, milk bottle. Yeah. I do like a milk bottle. Time and place. Remember them on the front doorstep with the little caps on top to stop the birds pinching the cream. Still have the milkman today, but we don't get them kind of bottles. And then look at these. Let me just put the milk bottle down there. I've got little things. Oh, that's cute little ink bottle. An ink bottle. Uh, oh, a I like miniature that. bottle. What's the for, shape of that? Yeah, that's a, a miniature drinks bottle spirit. Yeah. And these are three paste pots. But this one 
has a bit of a label on. Oh yeah. And this is a ship ems. Right. Oh, with a label on again. With another label on. And this one oh, I just thought pretty. was just pretty. Mm. Nice little shape. So three paste pots, an ink pot, and a small miniature drinks bottle, and a milk bottle. All in five minutes. We know we're back on the dump. That's a lovely piece of blue and white, isn't it? Quite a big piece. Quite thick too, so I'd say that's off like a meat plate, something like that. A platter rather than just a standard plate. Oh, look, it's a Shippen's base box. A cute little one. I like these little ones. Oh, I can see another little bottle over here. Start a pile here as well, I think. I say that's nail varnish. Sauce bottle with no top. Oh, please it out and about. Oh, that's a pretty bottle. It's got some really nice lines on that. And the smaller holes, I'm guessing, aftershave. Another nice little bottle. It's not a screw top and it's flask shaped. Oh, we'll start another pile. another aftershave bottle. The people around here must have smelled very nice. There's a jar with a lid. Vaseline blue seal. Hello. Hello Mr Johnson. Oh More just a fights. second. We've got to climb up. Oh. Uh, bit of label on that one. Another ship bumps with a bit of label on. Oh yeah. They just hit a patch where it's very dry ash. Mm. Put a label on there. Now I can't tell what the label is, but I just look unusual to the top. Yeah, it is. Very it's a screw lid. Yeah, with like a, I tell you what, perhaps a push on cap went to squirt it or to splash it out. I wonder if and it's some kind of vinegar another... or something. Mm. And when you took the lid off, there was a pressing lid there because yeah. it just caught my eye being unusual. Yeah. And two, with writing on, embossed writing, admittedly I'm cheating a bit mm. because, of course, we do find quite a few of these on occasions down here. That's Hazelwood. Right. But having picked up an unusual sauce bottle, that's a more usual one for this dump. Yeah. I'm sure there's people out there saying, I'd love to find a Hazelwood limited product. Yep, well, we find them quite a few. Here's another one we have found before, but not so often. Oh, Woodward Chemist London, I love those. First one we found of those was up in Yorkshire, I believe. Yeah. So I tell you what, folks, you're not going to live in London to get a London bottle. No. They're all over the place. Oh, it's so very we windy. Go. Sorry if it's affecting the microphone. Yes, it is rather. So I'm going to get back down nearer the river, out of the wind, and find some more stuff. Okie dokie. What have you got this time, Mr. Johnson? Well, I could hear you at the top of the banking saying mm -hmm. you'd find in jars. Yes. So I was at the bottom of the banking and I was also finding jars. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice. A big brown or big amber glass. Amber one. glass. No, one. there's no sun to show you the colour. Part of the label is still there. It is amber. <laughs> yes. A, a brill cream oh, with a lid on. I just found one of those too. Did you? There we go. And I've got one as well. Oh, a triangular jar. Oh, what a shame it's got a crack in it. Uh, it's, this is oh, shame. several cracks. But it was triangular. Yep. And. Oh. An octagonal one. Yeah, jam jar, which also has a bit of the label. Very nice. So definitely a good day for jars. Yes. Especially for a lady who tends to use them in her craft. I do. So I'll look for some more. Good, thank you. Oops, I was so busy talking about my jars and getting carried away with those, I forgot to show you my china. Oh, that's nice. I love the colour blue on that. It's not the usual blue. And that's and very ornate, oh, isn't it? And a very pretty piece of cup. There we go. Lovely. Right. Now we'll get back to looking for more jars Come for you. On, quick, quick, quick. So we're coming across the bit that hasn't got dug and has got an awful lot of new waste, including tarmac on it. But we get into the bit where the bottle diggers are slowly chipping away. So let's see if there's anything else here. Now, lots of sauce bottles there. I don't think we'll take all those sauce bottles with us. We really don't need them. But is there anything else around that we haven't seen? Let's look along the bottom. Oh, that's nice. Little cute pill pot, I would imagine. Whoops, the lid's gone. Now I've picked it up with this label on. And uh, we've got a green beer bottle. Anything on that? No. And some broken glass, a jar with a lid. Anything on the lid? 
No lid. Oh, that's a nice box though. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Very stylish. We'll pop that there and start another pile because I've just spotted. Now it may not be whole, but it looks like it could be. Oh yes, it is. It's an amber flask. Now, you still can't see the colour, I don't think. Lovely. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Pop that in my pile. Let's see what else we've got here. There tends to not be much at the top because the bottle diggers usually throw things down. Oh, there's this. Well, it's a bit plain, but it's interesting. And we've got this, which looks like a cough medicine jar, possibly. Nothing written on it. Oh, is that a bell? Oh, a little plastic bell. Oh, I like that. I love finding these little plastic toys. Oh, we've got a square jar. That's nice. I like that. I can see another bottle up here. Is it anything interesting? Got his lid on. Doesn't really seem identifiable. There's a lovely bit of tile sticking out there. It is only a little bit, but it's pretty colour. And we've got a broken bottle. Anything down the bottom? I've got another little piece of tile. Yellow this time. No, nope, it's green. And a lovely piece of willow pattern there with the pagoda on it. Now there's another bit of that green tile there. And I think that's it for this area. I've got a few jars. Oh. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Hello. Found a few, did you? Yeah, well again, while you were having a rummage where they've actually dug, I was just having a search around the area. Right. And uh Oh, little ones. wow. Oh, all oh, you cute ones. Perfect. Now, you did say, can you put as many jars as possible in the bag? Yes. So I thought, well, the little other jars, yep. the more I can possibly fit. So there we go. Very nice. And Thank a you. set of three there. I know you like a set I of do. three. Summer is fading as we head into autumn. And you can tell the greens are just not vibrant anymore. They don't have that bright colour. Even the weeds are looking tatty and tired. If I turn you around, you can start to see the different shades of green where some of the trees are already starting to turn the leaves colours, browns and yellows and reds. It's amazing how some tend to change before others. That big tree there is really starting to change now. You look at the oaks and not so much. Every season has its positives. And I think one of the positives of autumn is the colours, the sights, the smells and the cooler temperatures because it has been rather hot for a lot of us this year. Very pleasant. I have two more items with labels on. Oh, as I say, there's just those times when you hit a seam that's obviously been extremely dry. And although the labels do deteriorate, they still exist. And I've got yet another ship ounce that's got the label on that's the back. That's amazing because for about two years when we first started we never, never found, found one a label. with a label. That's amazing. In fact the only one we found with a label if you remember was actually in the water. Yes. Up in um, Badranti Pits. It wouldn't have lasted long. No and we were amazed by that it had fallen in the label was still on it but to find so many and here's one that I have found down here previously so it shows that it's not only popular in my fridge today. Branston pickle. But Branston pickle was popular back in the 50s and 60s Blackwell. as well. If you've enjoyed this video, check out the link just up there and it'll take you to other videos from the dump and from other adventures we've had. Because today we have really given you a variety. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Doing, doing, doing. And until the next time, don't forget, have fun. Bye. Bye.